Okay, so uh, this is going to be a short video on what to do when you turn on your scooter and you have no power at all. Uh, <clears throat> we go ahead and look at back here. These scooters, this is a GoGo. Um, I'm not sure of the model. Pride by Pride Mobility. Uh, these things charge through an XLR cable, which is similar to like a microphone jack. And if the charger just stays on the power um, light and doesn't show charging, most likely you have deeply discharged batteries, uh, which are found. If you look down here, you'll notice that there's a space there and a fuse. Go ahead and take a look here. This is the battery pack that you would normally see looking down at the scooter like this. This is where you charge it in here and there's a five volt fuse. Go ahead and if it's not charging, check this five volt fuse here. Check that little three volt fuse there. If the fuses are both intact, meaning they're not blown, then go ahead and take a look at your battery box here. This lifts up. It may be a little bit hard to lift. There's Velcro at the bottom, so it may sound like it's ripping. Go ahead and just pull up firmly and it'll come out. Then on the bottom of this battery box, I already have mine taken apart here, but on the bottom, you'll see some areas where you can take out some screws there at the bottom. Go ahead and pull out all your screws. You'll need a bit, little bit longer than normal Phillips head screwdriver. Once you pull out your screws, you lift that off. And this is a pretty simple uh, double battery setup here. So top down. You basically have these little UB12180 batteries, and if you were to try to buy the entire assembly, I think they're charging somewhere between 150 and 200 bucks for the whole battery box, but you don't need to do that. Go ahead and um, pay attention to how everything was connected. It's, it's wired in the series, so pay attention to everything's connected. Everything is also labeled positive. See? B positive, B negative, which means battery positive, battery negative. Pay attention to that. On the batteries, it's actually shown as red is positive, black is negative. Get on Amazon, search this UB12180 battery, and you'll find new ones that are sold on Amazon for about $32 a piece. So $64 bucks will bring you back two batteries here. These just came in the mail. Right here I have my, this is a typical battery charger. Go ahead and connect onto here. Those are connected there. Battery percentage is 100%. So we know I tested both of these already. These are both at 100%. So these are ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is put these batteries back in this box, wire everything back together, screw it back together, drop it back in the scooter, and your scooter will work like new. So short and dirty of this video is, if you got a bad, you got a bad scooter that won't power up, go ahead and check your fuses, Check your batteries, and you can always, before you buy new batteries, if you have a battery charger you can or, or a multimeter, go ahead and hook up to it. These batteries, it even says it on, let's see if I can pull one out here. Give me one second. And they're Velcroed in as well. But, old battery, new battery. These batteries here even say on it, Avoid total dis discharging, which is a deep dis discharge. So, the reason why they say that is because these AGM batteries are pain in the hiney to get to recharge back up. So I've tried to force charge these, I've tried to tri trickle charge these, I've tried to do everything I can to get these to charge up, and they're, they're just completely dead. They won't do anything. So... I could try a force charge. And it won't even won't even kick on. I mean they're that they're that bad. So that's how you know. So hopefully this helps somebody out there with one of these go-go scooters. And uh, thanks for watching. Like, thumbs up, subscribe.